Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none. You know, my dad walk on. I want y'all to stop, stop, stop what you're doing right now and go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you name it, we're on it. So, and if you want to see our full length interviews, go to our Patreon channel or YouTube membership. That's the only place you can see our full length interviews. If you want to see it before all these clips, cause you know he going chop and screw. Oh, I'm going to clip it up. So you ain't got to worry about that. that. Yeah, you ain't going to get to see the whole thing. Y'all got to sign up for our full length interview memberships. Okay. Some people like the clips though. I know a lot of people love it, <laughs> but some, some people don't. Check it, man. Hey man, we got, listen man, we got a very special guest in here today. She don't need no introduction cause she got more subscribers than me. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real with y'all. This is the reason. See, I did her so I can get some more subscribers from her people. So if y'all watching, you need to subscribe to my channel while she on here, cause she coming back every quarter. How about that? Yeah, man. Check it, man. CC reacts in the building. What's good? What? Don't come here talking like that. No hell. No. <laughs> The nice sweet voice. That was good. dope, man. Oh, you know you, you gotta get turned up, man. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. You were looking so loud. You you glowing. You done your skin real glistening. Uh, you done lost weight. Look like you a new person. I thought you was your little daughter. I told my wife. I said that's her daughter on there. I said why is she posting our daughter picture so happy? And she said that's her. I promise you. I said because <laughs> you so little. <laughs> I lost a lot of weight. I lost a lot of, I lost 110 pounds. Total. Total. Um, since last, I think August. So wow. this is what happened. That's um, not even a full year. No, not a full year. Wow. Um, last August and then last August we had the meet and greet and it was a sold out event. And then um, we went out to Deontay Wilder's um his training camp. Mm -hmm. And you know how you look back on the footage and everything? It's like, who is this big bitch? <laughs> I said, no. And so then um, Black, my man, right. he, he he asked me to watch a, um, a documentary with him called Fat, Sick, and Dead. Mm. And so we watched this documentary and... That was his way of hinting? No. See, understand this. Uh, me and him had gained a lot of weight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I cooks. Okay. You know, when you happy, you gain a lot of dang on weight. And you wasn't cooking it. healthy. Baby, I cook from the soul. <laughs> healthy don't got nothing to do with the food I made. You know what I'm saying? I, but that, those two things don't go together. Don't go. No, I'm going to season my food to the ancestors tell me to stop. <laughs> it just is what it is. And I'm going to cook to make, you know, I, I cooks. Okay. Um, however it goes, um, we watched that Fat, Sick, and Dead. And then it's like we did this juice diet first. And while we was on the juice diet, going to the gym every day. So on the juice diet alone, I ended How long up, did you do the juice diet for? I, we were supposed to do it for 30 days. But 30 days without no damn food is just a lot of time without food. I know, because when I saw you posted it, I tried it for one day. <laughs> no, we did two weeks. No, I did it for one day. <laughs> That's as far as I could go. Yeah, we, we did it for two weeks. But within our two <clears throat> weeks, I had lost 30 pounds. Because... Um, it's like you don't you don't have any food but the juice. It's a juice feast. Don't right. just think you just drink a juice here, juice there. No, you drink juice every time you get hungry. You're mm -hmm. gonna be hungry. You're gonna be irritable because you used to eating. But um, I mean, it just detoxed me. It detoxed him too. He lost it. Well, y'all see him. Mm -hmm. Like we lost a lot of weight, and he put me in a gym. So first, I cause I could not walk, do none of that stuff because I was three hundred some pounds. It is mm. what it is, and so so those were the difficulties you were having when you were knees. overweight. Listen, I got them ninety knees now. Mm. You know, cash money was taking over. <laughs> I got those knees now. Man. But my knees, like fitting on a plane, getting in a sitting on a plane, trying to get in the seats, them plane seats, tan my. You know, I got some hips. Right, tan these hips up, baby. It was a whole issue. It was a whole. It was an issue with everything. My asthma, everything, everything, everything. And that was the largest you've ever been. That's the largest I've ever been. And so um, another thing, 
you know, I'm, I was always on the internet, so you get people, they just don't like me because of me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Especially a whole bunch of uh, women hating ass niggas mm-hmm. that's secretly bitches, that want right. to be bad bitches. This fat bitch, this fat bitch, look, I could lose the weight, which I did. And you still a bitch, though. Weight is on me, but being a bitch is in you. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? And I look good at, I look better than your mama, your bitch, your sister. Make something happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I get more money. Mm. Have it goes. Um, like so I started on the treadmill, started on the treadmill and I was started I could not walk nothing. I'm talking about that treadmill was killing me. So at first it was like 10, 15 minutes, then I can go 30 minutes, and then I go a whole hour. So the hour wasn't bothering me at all. So I wore a sweatsuit. This is every day now. A sweatsuit and walking for an hour on the treadmill. And when you say sweats, you mean that that bag, the garbage the bag, bag, the 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 top yeah. and the jogging pants mm-hmm. every day. Mm. And I did this for months, and the weight was coming off and sitting in the sauna, mm-hmm. you know. And then when the treadmill was no longer effective to me, I started the stairs. I got a question about that. Um, so when you you doing all that, you in the bag, you this time at this time were you still on the juice fast? No, I stopped the juice fast after fifteen days. Okay, because I know that when you're doing um, workouts, especially once you start doing hectic workouts, you you your body needs food because well, you can get lightheaded, you can feel like you want to pass out, you can do a lot of stuff if you're not feeding your body right when you're doing vigorous workouts. That's true, but with that, it's just walking. You know, that's not nothing that's like, oh! Right. I'm going to tell you how bad it was. Um, I wasn't exercising or anything beforehand. So when you don't exercise or like use your limbs or move around for 20 minutes a day, like your body don't, it's, 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 it no longer tolerates type of, any type of vibrations, Mm. motion or anything. So your red blood cells freeze up. So when you walk or whatever, it make your legs and everything itch. Like any vibration on your body, it make it itch and it makes it feel like um, you have frostbite. I didn't know. I didn't didn't know what caused that. What caused that? Nothing. Poor circulation. That was me. Yeah, because yeah, I got problem. better now since I've been walking. Like, now especially, that only happens when you're just starting to do it. If it, it happen, it it happens when you just starting to do it. But if you stop doing it, it'll, it'll start happen, back. It'll start back. You have to keep that up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if your body is that's if it happens to you, you have to keep moving. You have to work out at least 20 minutes a day. Mm. Walk, do something, be some type of active. Mm-hmm. So God, I didn't know why my damn legs was issue. Oh man, yeah. man, I would be walking Heart with her. I told her, I say, well, my my legs is I don't know. I can't deal with this walking. It's your real. I wanted sales. to stop. He wanted to stop because he slow didn't slow down. Know. You don't stop. But I didn't stop. I, yeah, you I, I don't, don't do it no more. It stopped after we kept going. Because yeah, your 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 body has um, acclimated to it. Mm. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That I wanted to quit. That, that was hurt. I didn't oh, like that. You want to cry? No, <laughs> like, oh. she didn't get it. It wasn't doing it. Though. It was me. I was like, cause because I sat on the chair. Active. I, I want that all the time. Yeah. So I'm like, man. Yeah. So so let me ask you this. Um, to, to shift gears on you just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um. Devin Haney had a fight because you came on there hollering Devin Haney last time. And, uh, and I'm still going to holler. Don't start no shit. Because I'm always no, wait, with wait a minute. I'm just no. saying, you know, there's a lot of people that said that he didn't win that fight. I don't give a fuck what they saying. I was there. I'm, Go back and watch the fucking fight. Let me tell you something. Just because you're doing this <laughs> don't mean a damn thing. You got to hit somebody. And since they was talking about, um, uh, since they was talking about uh, Lomachenko was cheating, he was cheating, 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 cheating. Let me tell you this. First of all, Lomachenko is top ranked star. That's their star. That's their, that's their money maker. It ain't Shakur. It's Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck do Lomachenko get cheated on a top ranked card? That don't even make sense. Man, it I, don't make sense. It ain't like he, he when when the, when the scorecard came out. I don't think nobody gave Lomachenko. He didn't win. Not- he didn't win shit because people think that, and this is how delusional people are. They think because you do this real fast. I don't give a fuck how many likes this man and hit. <laughs> this ain't patty cake. This ain't, what is, what is this? What is this? You have to connect. Dev, he connected more than Loma did. And just because they see people go up in the corner don't mean nothing is happening. Dev fought his way up out of there. If you really on his ass, he sh- you if he, he shouldn't be backing you up while you got him in the corner. That's it just is what it is. 
Go back, watch the shit slow motion and, and figure it out. Wow. So Yeah, because a couple of celebrities even went on um, social media and Nelly said that. and uh was it Nelly and was, was it, one more. Did Boosie do it? Too? Boosie and Nelly, they went in, they they were like they done. Nelly said, I'm not watching no more boxing. Who the fuck asked <laughs> Nelly <laughs> for motherfucking <laughs> boxing advice? <laughs> when that motherfucker said, Hey Nelly, who you got? Don't nobody give a fuck. You clout chasing right now. The fuck back? You got your bitch back? Chill. Yeah, yeah, he is back with a shot. Yeah, you got your bitch back. Sit back and enjoy that. The fuck out of everybody else's business. Man, this hey, listen, this boxing yeah. thing. You been doing this boxing thing for us. Uh, managing, dealing with it, assisting. You've been all over the boxing, uh, uh, the whole business of boxing. Like, and I seen, uh, you know, I don't know if y'all even do it no more. Black, he decided, <laughs> <laughs> he decided to call it quits. I mean, I seen one day I was watching and I was intense. I was watching with intensity, mm -hmm. and I was looking. Cause you never thought he would ever do that. With well, the love I, he I has. wasn't thinking about that that day. I was just trying to see what his opinion was gonna be, and uh. To my surprise, he ended the show like it never started. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, does that mean you guys are not going to be back on there talking to all three? You know, my brother watches this, so he needs to know. Are uh, y'all, or is it over, or what's going on? Shrill Boxing Talk is over. We have something new coming. Okay. Well. Why did y'all choose to end it? People don't appreciate, I'm not going to say appreciate me, or people don't appreciate shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's listen, it's a difference. When you get casual fans trying to argue with people who actually know boxing, the shit is, boxing is like the WWE. You got motherfuckers who not even a champion, and people calling this the champion. That's not the fucking champ. How, listen, I was so thrown off when you, when, when I saw somebody say Lomachenko is the, the, the next great American hero. Lomachenko is the what? Andrew <laughs> Devin White is the lightweight champion of the world. Motherfuckers talking about Lomachenko. Lomachenko was just over here taking the money from your fucking grandma, your great grandma, your daddy, all their social security to help fund the motherfucking war over in the Ukraine. But you talking about motherfucking Lomachenko. Fuck. Americans have no sense of pride when it comes to Americans. You know what I'm saying? They want to be everything else but fucking Americans. That's why our fucking kids don't know if they turtles, boys, girls, none of this shit. Damn. There it is. We don't... It's like we we just fucked up. We are so fucked up. You can't... The champion is not respected, but the underdog is all type of goofy ass shit. All type of... Big, uh, I, I, listen, I want to go to Wakanda. <laughs> you want to get out of here? I, 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 oh... I'll be so sick of these I people. think they felt sorry for him when he started breaking down and crying. Fuck him crying. He cried every... Listen, understand this. Devin Haney is... No, nah, he cried. It was I rough. I don't give a fuck. Me, he put the thing so on his head. Right. You because didn't feel no, no sympathy for this man? Hell, motherfucking no. You should... I know you heard me on the television. I know you heard me on the television. <laughs> it's wider than a motherfucker in here on my feet the whole time. Because I knew he was going to lose. Here's the thing. He, he cried because he expected to win. They thought they was going to cheat Dev. Dev came in there prepared to fight. They thought Dev was going to fight a certain style. This is one. Listen, Devin Haney is undefeated. Undisputed. Lomachenko on loss. Multiple times. Yeah. So he's not unbeatable. Nobody's unbeatable. But Lomachenko has proved he's, 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 he can get that ass whooped. Wow, I want to say, man, appreciate y'all because y'all hooked me up with Bill Haney when I went up to uh, when I went up to Vegas, man. So that was a good live interview, and in that interview, uh, Bill kind of already was, told me they were ready for Lomachenko Listen, or Lomachenko, whatever Chinko I wanted to bring out. Yeah, whichever Chinko. Dev is ready for whomever. What about Tank? It's a lot He's of people. Talk, and then what was that other dude that showed up in the ring? She go, uh, let's oh, talk yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah, he showed up yeah. in the ring. Yeah, he showed up in the ring on that nigga. He said, hold on, he said, oh, that's why they walked out the ring. They wanted to run. Because they saw First of all, I, I, see, this is this is why I keep saying I want to go to Wakanda. <laughs> Motherfuckers <laughs> love the hype. First of all, Devin Haney is no longer with top rank. He's his own boss. He's his own boss. Shakur Stevens has a fucking boss. His boss, Bob Arum, said he's not putting up the fucking money for that fight. 
said it multiple times. I sat there right there in the press conference and seen it myself when he turned his fucking head when they asked him about it. He won't speak nothing over. Now you keep seeing, keep seeing little blogs pop up. Yeah, Barbarian saying he he want to make a fight with Dev and Shakur. When? When so we can be there? Shakur knew already that Bob Aaron said he wasn't putting up that fight. Me no money for the fight. Shakur don't even make that much money. So why the fuck would I put up more money for a fight than you make? That's real. Shakur, he bring out stars, but he not no sellout motherfucking crowd. Whenever you say Shakur, sell out a crowd. You haven't. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody isn't. I like Shakur. You know what I'm saying? I like the little Puerto Rican kid. I like him. He Puerto Rican. He Puerto Rican. <laughs> Listen, I like him. He dope. He cold. He smooth. He's good at what he do. But be real, you just got the 135. You just got the 135. You got to put in your work. Why do you come in feeling he like came, somebody? He walked in the ring like he want him now. But, but, mind you, he walked in the ring like he want him. Him walking in the ring means absolutely fucking nothing. Who's putting the money behind you to fight this man? That was a clout chase. So he and just, when you when you when you talking to motherfuckers who don't know nothing about boxing, when you talking to people who don't know nothing about boxing, you get the oh he went he walking up down. How the fuck is he? Listen, Dev can fight Shakur today or tomorrow. Who's gonna front the money? Who's gonna put the Bob Aaron not putting up no money? Who's gonna put the money up? That's what it comes down to. I feel you on that. You know, I ain't, I, I think I seen you. Um, you was back with what's that? What's that old boy named down there in Alabama? Who, Deontay Wilder? Yeah, yeah, you was with him again. When did y'all, did y'all run into him again? No. Uh-uh. Did, was he at the fight? Was he? I don't know. I was, was with Dev at the fight. I was with Dev now. So how you talked to him? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't talk to him since. How's he doing? He doing good. So is he uh, is he fighting still, or is he getting ready to I fight? I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's the opponent. Okay. So that's, I don't know nothing about that. You have to talk to 78. Okay, okay. Let me, so, let me. what do you think about this upcoming fight with Errol Spence and... Yeah, we Tim. heard what you had to say about it last oh, time. Man. I'm so sick of hearing Come about this on, fight. Man. I still don't know man. if it's going to happen. I don't know. Come on, man. They, oh, yeah, it's going to happen. It's gonna, I don't even know yet. Come on, I ain't building my confidence up until I see the damn folks walk out there and the damn rappers oh, come no, out. The, 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 the rappers fighters. coming out. The rappers going to come out. Them niggas going to come out. Then it's going to be a fight. But until then... Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Yeah, they fighting. I ain't thinking about his ass. <laughs> okay, they fight. Okay, they fighting. let's move into they fighting mode. Okay, now they fighting. You Earl, said you okay. got on here last time. Earl, Earl is going to do this. Didn't they put a date to it yet? And she wanted yeah, to say July I was yeah, 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 put a date to it. I don't give a damn so about none of that I see him walk out. July 29th. Now, wait yeah. a minute. How do you see him winning? Both of them undefeated. You think they might Both say that somebody cheated? You trying to walk me into some shit for one. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Both of us. I don't care. It's still Earl Spence over anybody. It's Earl. It's Earl Spence over anybody. That's one. Two, I see Earl breaking his ass down. But he, he, but, he listen, really but, do the, that. but is the shit. But Bud is number two. I mean, he's the first loser. Earl gonna whoop his ass. That's it. That's all. What make you so confident to say that? Because I know EJ. How many rounds do you think it's going to go? You going to go the whole go round? The whole thing? I believe it's going to go the, the whole thing. The, to give a show. It's going to go the whole thing. Because this is one of those matches. Um, some people say EJ going to get him up. I think EJ is going to take his time breaking Bud down. Everybody who get in the ring with, with EJ, they need a new eye. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I seen all, that last every, eye. Everybody always look at all the eyes. You know what I'm Damn. saying? He, give out, he going to get Bud the UK eye. That's mm -hmm. what we going to do. He gonna boop, 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 boop. He gonna bust him down. Gonna put them you don't on. see no way that 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 Ter Terrence can have a chance. Bud Terrence Crawford. got plenty of chances, but I ain't here to talk about Bud. So he, he I, I'm breaking his boxing down. How you can say what you want? How you say what you want? You listen, listen. You can say what you want. Bud got plenty of chances, but I'm not here to give him no uh, no like no 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 acceptance. <laughs> I, I, wait, look, I will fuck with Bud. When they don't got nothing to do with EJ. But when it comes to EJ, and that's how I am. If I fuck with she you, it's you and only you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Bud and EJ, it's EJ all day. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. Same thing with Dev. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no if, ands, buts about it. Same thing with Wilder. No if, ands, buts about it. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with my little guys. Tiger Johnson. No if, ands, buts about it. You know? 
So hypothetically right. speaking, Miss Jamaica. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking, <laughs> now listen to this. Hypothetically speaking, Devin moves up in in rank mm-hmm. and had to fight EJ. Who would you choose? By the time Dev move up there to, uh, that's a good question. That's a very good question. <laughs> Um, by the time Dev moves up there to where EJ is, EJ will no longer be fighting. I so don't even got to worry about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you ain't got to worry about that. That's why I said hypothetically, if, if that happens sometime soon, you will not get that answer. <laughs> <laughs> She's not picking sides at you all. Not, you will not get that answer out of me. <laughs> How did you move so fast? Because last time you came here, you didn't even have 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, congratulations I on your subscribers. Damn all that. I, I was going to tell her congratulations. I was that guy. I was the man. And I didn't see it coming. I said, I got all these niggas. Damn, you ain't seen it coming. I ain't seen nobody catching me. I was the man for a minute. And none of them. For that start, you know, she, she I was like, she moving, but I can I got this. Man, lo and behold, you come out of nowhere. I mean, how did you do that? Did they just start loving you? Cause we loved you already. Um, the world woke up to me. It's like when when I was here last time, you know, I was just, you know, peeking through the doors and looking through the windows. But the world woke up to me. The wow. world, and it's like, I got, listen, I'm, at this point, I'm doing 5.1 million views a month. Mm, a damn. month, 5.1 million views a month. Um, I got my plaque win three, three weeks ago. I seen ago. it, I was but so happy. Listen, I'm already, I'm probably like 200 away from hitting 150,000. Mm, you for the you know, so I done got 50,000 subs in a month. My in a mem- month. In my membership is, up there my Instagram and it's amazing you know what I'm saying because here's the thing I remember I did like some months ago um, maybe six months ago I did a, a campaign like yo tagging certain people and pay attention to me you know my, my supporters my followers they tagging them in there motherfuckers I like they don't see me so um, I end up a company a very big large company production company reached out to me multiple production companies had been reaching out to me but this one specifically reached out to me wanted to sign me mm. so i've been keeping this on the hush i end up signing in december wow a production deal but here's the thing about this be careful what you wish for mm. because i had that i got that production deal in december and they have done absolutely nothing with me and on one hand um it's good for the simple fact I make so much money. You know what I'm saying? So whenever they do come around, they have to pay me. You got to pay me my work plus more. Yeah. You know? Um, How long was the deal signed for? A year. And then when everything was supposed to take off, it was like a, um, a extra added two years because I had a certain amount of stuff to do. But when I say they have done absolutely nothing, with I hear me, that a lot. Even with the music industry, I hear a lot about yeah. it. Dude, and why, it's just why, do, why do you think it's that way though? Because they don't know what to do with you, or they don't know what to do with me. I'm so raw. But when they're signing you, I would think that when They'd somebody approach, it. they should already have things in place to say, okay, once we sign up, this is we going here, we doing this, we doing that. You would think that, especially the production company that it is, because it's right. a major one, mm. um, and they they. They big, but they don't know what to do with me. And mm. there's not, I'm not willing, like we haven't even had these type of talks. I got to be honest with y'all. But it's, I'm not willing to, um, you're not going to change me. I'm not going to be your nanny McPhee. So they want you to, they probably, I don't know what they want. I'm okay. just saying, that's why I'm saying this. I don't know what they want, but we, because we haven't even had these conversations. Um, when y'all got me, I was raw. I'm even raw now. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm me. I'm great. I'm good. But they haven't done anything. And mm. I'm comfortable with that. Last year, I made a lot of money. And it's only June right now. So I made the money that I made last year already. Plus That's money. big. That's big. So it's like, it's like, I'm, I'm, so if you do come around, they got into December to either shit or get off the pot. That's real. And, and they're still paying you. Huh? And they're still paying you. No, I make, I make money on my own. Oh, okay. I make money with my my, yeah, my your brand, co- your brand, right? Yeah, my brand, my brand is crazy, and that's why I get a lot of hate too. Because listen, motherfuckers be mad. Oh, she, this fat ass bitch. She was a, she was a criminal. She was a criminal, and she. Why ain't nobody listening to me? Cause you boring and you a bitch and you a hater. Damn, I, you know what I'm saying you fake. What was the, what is the like most viral video that you've done? Of course. <laughs> 
the most viral one actually was like a week ago. And it's at like 6.3 million views right now. Whoa. And what were you talking about? Um, I went to I went to this club. I was with my folks. I went to this club and I seen uh this older gentleman. You know, I don't like older dudes, but I like old this he was fat as hell. Shit, so I'm, I damn, you look good, you know? Have it go on peeping him, he peeping me and everything, and you know, we exchange numbers. Have it go, we 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 decide to go out, you know what I'm saying? Over the dinner, he tell me that he used to be a pimp. Mm. Listen to these words, because motherfuckers are stupid. You know what I'm saying? He used to be a pimp, you know? So after the dinner, whatever, we go back to his crib. You know what I'm saying? Um, he go upstairs, I, he got a wall of pictures. And I'm looking at the pictures, I'm looking at the pictures, I'm looking at the pictures, and I see a picture that's familiar to me. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? So when he come back down, I'm like, hey, who is this? He said, that's my bottom bitch. His bottom bitch was my grandmother. That's what he said. Yeah. So it's like, um, oh, people, I'm finna tell y'all this. This is funny that as is hell. That is crazy. Wow. This funny as hell. Listen, people be so mad at me. So mad. She's lying. She lying. Fuck, I got a lie. Bitch, you one now? <laughs> Fuck, you one now? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The family call. My sister's in her grave. Yeah. You, so you mad at me because I said that man says you about them bitch, but you ain't mad at her for selling pussy. Listen, <laughs> what you're not gonna do is you got them calls. No, they ain't call listen, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? People love being fake. You see people up under the comments, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Bitch, shut up. Your motherfucking daddy is your baby daddy. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers love living in, in, in these pretend worlds. Like this shit don't exist. You know who the fuck your uncle is? The one who was fucking you when you was three? Knock it off. Damn. Like, knock the fuck off. You know, people love to judge, but they don't mm, like being judged. The rawness. You people know, get intimidated by people who are truly transparent, who just speak their mind. They're see, very see, you got, Yeah, you got a bitch on there with a nappy ass wig with a fucked up sad part. Bitch ain't putting no glue on that wig since she got it talking about, that's probably your granddaddy, bitch. Did I tell you that? Who the fuck is your daddy, your granddaddy? Do you know them niggas? Who's your baby daddy? Do you know that motherfucker? CC reacts. You know what I'm talking about, man. Hey, listen, so you you decided I'm just going to sit in front of the screen and I'm just going to tell these people all the things that happened to me in my life and it pays off. Um, I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll be talking. Y'all know I write books. I got yeah. multiple books. I don't like people for real. You know what I'm saying? So I write. A lot of shit happens. You know, you got to understand this. Everybody, shit happens to everybody. Exactly. It's everybody. how you express it. It's all how you express it and how you you take it in and put it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I take everything, like I could turn any situation into a comedy skit. And it's not on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's just like me um, explaining a boxing match. You will be thinking I'm getting ready to talk about uh, 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 the, the punches and all this. But I'm talking about their shoes and socks and shit. You know, um, or how they got knocked down and they little skirt tutu thing flew up over their heads. That's random shit. You know what I'm saying? I talk, it's like I'm in between the beat. I'm never on the beat. I'm in between the beat. And people don't get it sometimes. And it's like I don't take anything that serious. It is what it is. But going back to this, um, when I got with Black, I used to be trying to tell him all these stories because I got a million stories in my head. And I'd be like... You might need to start you a page. Yeah. So, you might need to start you a <laughs> So uh, this one day, he was like, yeah, because he had bought me an iMac for Christmas. He was like, I was trying to tell him this story. He didn't want to hear that shit. He was like, man, record man, go it. record it. Go record it. And people don't understand. Recording this shit, getting it off your chest, is therapeutic. It's definitely therapeutic. It's therapeutic. It's like, man, it feels so good. And but people, what I hate about that, especially when Instagram had reels and stuff, I don't, you know, we women, we're long-winded. And when you, you get passionate about something, you talk and talk and talk. Short. And when you're trying to deal with shorts and time it one minute, and I'm like, all of what I got to say can't fit in no darn one minute. 
Yeah. How do you do that? She on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube. Oh, so you and don't then even... I have a man who know how to edit and chop that shit up. <laughs> chop and screw it. <laughs> <laughs> chop and screw it, baby. He put that shit out and we just go ahead and do our well, one, two. Well, you owe me an apology and, um, you know, I'm cool with it. <laughs> Look how you she know, paused. <laughs> however you want to do If you want to do it on here, we can take it offline. Um, and you used to finna say some bullshit. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> And he got well, um, if you want to do it all, because ain't no motherfucking way. No, what it was what? her. It was this Harold's chicken versus Rudy's oh. chicken. First of all, I mean, we're we're not not gonna gonna go. I'm not. I'm not. You know, all I'm saying is, uh-huh. you would never. I'm we just, tried two different I'm ones. Where did y'all go? We tried the one in Chicago, no. and we did the one here. I went to one Listen, here. You went to one downtown with the white folks. I would never. Don't people know how to cook no motherfuckers? No, we didn't. Where was you at? Where was y'all at? Downtown. I don't know. Was was not, I'm not from Chicago. You right are. right off the highway. They used to have another one over that, to the shopping strip. Y'all was in the loop. Y'all was in the loop. They moved over to the other y'all side. Was that was not no. Wait, wait, wait. They moved over where? Over to the, okay, this is yeah, the highway. Moved. This is the freeway, right? Y'all was on 87? Girl, Probably. Hold on. This is the freeway, right? Uh-huh. There's a shopping strip. If it was about a gas station. Yes, that shit nasty. That was about a gas station. That shit nasty. When they moved, they moved it. I don't know what the fuck I had that I said I'd never go back here. Probably. And then I went here, here in um uh, what's I went name? to that one too. Which is horrible. You the one on it. I thought you had the move one so on here. Listen, we went over there for their south opening. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to shit on nobody's business. It just is what it is. We went over there for the south openings. First of all, them prices is high as fuck. Them wings was little as hell. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I don't they and the lines lot. was long. The lines is long because you got Chicago people want some fucking heroes. But when we went up in there, you should have seen the people bring that shit back because they was not happy. Mm. Wow. They put a little drizzle on. This ain't no Chicago. You put Put some damn mouth sauce on me. Like put some mouth sauce and hot sauce on. You give me a fucking cup next to my chicken. The fuck is y'all doing? And I here and what what makes me Did so mad? Did you voice your opinion to the owners? I voiced my opinion to the whole fucking restaurant. What the fuck is this? I had an attitude. First of all, you charged me twenty six dollars for twelve fucking wings, two six wings. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then the girl behind the register, she trying to tell me, oh, well you you know we got the bar and shit up in. Bitch, I don't care. Harold's ain't got no bar. You know, y'all doing some shit out here because people out here don't even know and y'all getting over on these fucking people in Texas and y'all really making Chicago shit look bad. You know what I'm saying? And it, it really looks bad. Damn. So I that establishment looks that. good, though. When it you walk in, it looks good. nice. It looks nice. <laughs> and with some mixed with some other shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not... If you're going to do it, do it. The shit pissed me off so bad, I went online and found my own motherfucking hair chicken seasoning and <laughs> mouth sauce and hot sauce. <laughs> Bitch, I won't get another damn of my motherfucking money. Can't they I do better, have, though? They might have changed it. I don't get... We went... Listen, we went and we got some dark chicken from them like three weeks ago. It tasted better, but I got to micromanage them on putting my fucking sauce on my, my chicken and everything. Damn. You know, another thing... Here's the thing, if the Harold's in Chicago, you know, um, when you put your, when you put your, you get your chicken wing, your wing, your, your chicken, your fries go at the bottom. Fries don't go on top of no motherfucking chicken. No, it don't. They no flipped it on. They, they flipped it on. Flip the shit on Damn. Me. Nobody, on nobody me. does that. They got, and here's another thing, they don't got nobody from fucking Chicago working up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check everybody ID card? How you know that? Because I was asking. This ain't no joke. Did you talk to the manager? The manager, bitch. Excuse me, bitch, but she left. <laughs> she left. She had left the establishment. I was mad as shit. I went to the Facebook group. You know, this Chicago to Dallas. I went to the group, and I had to voice my opinion. They just don't give it a chance. Come on, we'll go back and fuck them. I was mad as hell. <laughs> you don't do no shit like that. Guys out here looking bad. I was so, listen, I was so hurt. Listen, when I say I went and I got my own damn Harris chicken seasoning, my hot sauce, my mouth Just go sauce. ahead and go to Rudy's. You'll be more Baby, satisfied. I, I did. I did. I did. Oh, that was you did. I did. You know what I'm saying? I want listen, I was so hurt that they did this bullshit. And I said, I've been out here bragging, I got my man out here and every fucking thing. You know I had it on both stuff. And shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing me and shit. Can on. Just out here doing these people any kind of way. I was looking at the part. I was so upset. I was so upset. I'm sorry. All right. No, I know you was upset. I, I, say, I, I called uh-uh. black. I said, man, what's going on over here? We over here. Don't don't Damn. don't call my man talking no shit about <laughs> my people. The fuck. <laughs> so, so let me let me ask you something. No, like like what do you suggest to somebody who's trying to start them a channel, trying to do what you done done, you know, trying to figure it out. Like what do you suggest for like like because there's a lot of people that would like to be you know on a level to where they could interject with their people and you know it, be inspired. 
Don't steal my shit. <laughs> don't try to be like me. I'm not being funny, but you have a lot of people doing that right now. Everybody, listen. I'm me. I'm. This is nobody else. This is me. I'm 150 percent me, whether you like me or not. This is me all day long. I got so many people come try to steal my content. They try to steal the look of my channel. They try to do not steal none of my shit because I'll be on your head yeah, silently, silently on some real life shit. But you got to do what feels good to you. You know what I'm saying? Be you. You know what I'm saying? You can't be nobody else in the world the way you can be you. Be you and do what feels good to you. You know, and I don't got a problem with that. Damn, you know, because like I said, when is it, what's next though? You know, AI is a big conversation with everybody, and I, I have seen some things on my computer where it helps my technology. I ain't gonna lie, but AI is a big thing. AI like, is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This little kid wrote a letter, and it was very. I good. showed it to him online. He used this AI. This little kid, he probably about what he he looked like about probably about eight, eight, eight. And his girlfriend texted him and said. Um, Baby, I love you, or something like that. So he said, "Hold on." He went to AI to they talk to get nice AI way. to respond, and then he shared it with her. He didn't have to do nothing, and it was hard. And, and it was deep. What the fuck that means? You like scared <laughs> or some shit? So no, even can... with even with um, I saw something the other day. Do you know even technology? You know, all these females are getting their lashes done. Did you see that machine? You can I, I go into that, that place and that's, that's the machine up. actually do your lashes for you. Damn. I hope that motherfucker don't malfunction and knock an hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, they just go with it. You know, hey, listen. Once again, I'm not scared of the AI. That has nothing to do with me. Um, the AI is the AI. Me, I'm just It doesn't me. have a personality. It don't have a personality. I don't care. But it can take your personality and duplicate and it in a way to where it. it can replicate it. And it that's is. what they, 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 they've seen enough for you to re replicate it. I don't and give a damn. As long as you get paid. Uh, you'll make a deal either. with I'm, them? I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll make no. a deal with them? No. I got to ask you about... No. Go ahead. You want to with answer. all the negativity, just like how you're talking about all these women out here attacking you, I know that you get some good too. Oh, Tell me about the women attacking me. It be the niggas. It be the niggas. Oh, yeah. It be the niggas. This bitch is a stud. I never told you that. But you do get good ones as well. Tell me about some of the good ones. I get my people. I got um like I get between twenty and fifty thousand people that watch me faithfully each week. You know what I'm saying? Um. I get a lot of great, 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 I mean, feedback. Like, they love me, and i that's my family. They're my cousins. You know what I'm saying? I know who they is, so, you know, certain shit can slide. We can talk, because, hey, if you shoot some shit at me, I'm shooting it right back. We know. You yeah, know what I'm saying? you respond to everybody. Yeah. I know that. No, I don't. Really? I, don't. I, I look and see you respond to a lot of them. I respond for the first five, ten minutes after that. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. I don't mean it no harm because there's just too many of y'all talking, 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 talking. The ones I really, really, really fuck with, they can come to my DM or they can hit me on Facebook or Twitter. Some I mean, not Twitter. Damn it. I don't even fuck with Twitter. Um, um, TikTok, you know. But it be so many people. Um, and every now and then I catch something and I respond, you know. But it be all love. It, I get so much love, so much love. But it's, it's. I say it's 90% love, 10% hate. Okay. I got to ask you this, and I don't know how. Well, I got to ask you this. Um, I know you've seen uh, DC Young Fly's uh, girlfriend passed away from the baby mama mm -hmm. makeover. What do you think about just for as self, you know, like. Self-love? Yeah. Like, like, try, like you working out and doing it this way versus. Cause I got another girl that 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 I interviewed that says she won't never work out. She'll, She'll go just get go get it cut, cut off. off. Like, and this is a thing that women are. I don't know if you. A lot of times y'all do stuff that don't really mean. Fuck is y'all? Women do I'm things. Natural as hell. Women. Oh yeah, you natural. But it's a lot of them put eyelashes on. I ain't never looked at a girl eyelash like the the little lashes that y'all talk about. I'm not worried about that. Like like it's certain things that I think you guys do that y'all think we like that we really not into. Who the fuck is y'all though? No, I'm just saying like on the <laughs> Everybody not you, CC. But I'm just saying women do this. So what um, do you what do you think about it? I mean to each his own. For me, a natural woman is beautiful. I wanna see the scars. I wanna see how you look when you wake up. I wanna see I mean me. I'm comfortable with myself. A lot of females out here is not comfortable with themselves and they trying to catch what somebody else has. 
You know what I'm saying? You go on here to make yourself up like another bitch and you try to get what she got and what she got ain't even good. You know, I'm cool. And I don't want no nigga who want me for some fake shit. You know what I'm saying? All these bitches out here talking about, well, I want real this. And this nigga got to be real. He got to be real. This dude got to be real. He got to be real. But everything you got is fake. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything you got is fucking fake. When you look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? You can't even scratch your, you can't even wash your face. You know, it's mice that live on your eyes. It's mice that live on your face. I'm being real. And you got some damn lashes on your face and this shit stay on three to five days, business days and shit. And then you got to do all that. No, it's just too much. So I don't I, want no dude who I have to sit up there and be somebody else. You, I'm not, you're not comfortable with me. I gotta be somebody else for you to be comfortable with, and a person who I look like can easily be a fucking man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, think back, back in the days, not be not before the sensitive shit, the how the drag queens used to look, exaggerated ass eyelashes, motherfuckers like snuffleupagus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Exaggerated eyes with the big ass titties, the sna the snatch. Well, I got motherfucking kids and grandkids. My waist ain't snatched, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm like what? No, no. Grandma ain't had that shit. You know what I'm saying? And grandma had 28 motherfucking kids. Oh, she had a bunch of kids grandma back in the day. Grandma had some fast pussy. So you still got that same ass pussy with a different body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you still got, I like, 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 like. Listen, once again, to, to my women, if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. But you need to look in the mirror, and prison helped me with this. This is some real life shit. I looked in the mirror every day and I had to appreciate every fucking thing about me because when I was in prison, all that shit was taken away. You know what I'm saying? And when I came out, <clears throat> I started falling back into all the weave and all this other shit. And it's the response I was getting from people because I looked a certain type of way with all that shit in there. But none of that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? I'm working a fucking job and you got the bosses and shit and hitting all on me and everything. And I'm a pretty talking black girl. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not your bad wench. You know, and I seen this chick. This chick came up in the restaurant one day and she was having lunch with this dude. And she looked so fucking happy. She looked so happy. And she, she was looked, natural. She was so natural. Like everything about her. And she was beautiful. Like she had like this aura about her. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about I cannot take my eyes off her. Not that I want to fuck her or anything. You know, I don't fuck me a bitch a time or two. But <laughs> not that I wanted to be with her like that. But she just looked happy. Right. She had the type of happiness that I wanted. And at this point in time, I got some long ass blonde weave up in there. Working behind a fucking counter at a pizza restaurant. Get hit on by the fucking Russians. Who don't even like the black men but want the black women. Mm. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. um, so when she came up there to put her but her plate down or whatever, she had locks on her head and she had like little starter locks. I'm like, how long you you know you've been having your locks? She said I had in six months. She was like, you thinking about locking your hair up? I said, yeah. She said it's gonna change your life. Wow. You know, so I was like, it's gonna change my life. Like how the fuck a hairstyle gonna change your life? And she can't be wrong. You know what I'm saying? For the simple fact, think of a female when she ain't got her hair done and her lips dry and shit, she wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She want to fight and she mean as shit. If a bitch get her hair done and everything, she on some cute stuff. You know what I'm saying? And some fake shit. All of it's fake, though. When I lock my hair up, I transition. Everything that was superficial, I didn't want it no more. I didn't want them fake-ass dudes who only like me for a certain look. I wanted somebody who looked deeper into me. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people see me on these videos and they think, oh, this bitch, this, da, 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 da. You have no clue who I am. Damn. That's real. That's real. And that makes sense because you know a lot of ladies who do wear locks, they don't do a lot of the the lashes, the this, the that, whatever. They they try to keep a lot of things a hundred percent natural. It's 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 more about it's listen, these locks are antennas. You know what I'm saying? Um, it ain't just what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. You know, I'm a deep ass chick. People never know that because I don't show them that. You do you don't deserve to see that. Who are you? It's real. You know, you don't you don't deserve to get that piece of me. What have you done to deserve that? And it's just knowing your worth. I mean, it's, you know how people say trust the process? Well, when you get your locks, they always trust the process because you have to detox from all the fake and bullshit. Mm. So when you when I when I lock my hair up, put my hat on, because I have a job, I had a job. You know, I haven't worked in years. Um, I had a job, put my hat on and everything. You know, I don't got all the niggas hanging up, man. Sweetheart, hey, you gonna let me take you? I ain't got that. You know what I'm saying? I got the doctors, the lawyers, the real ones coming in. Like, hey, want a conversation. 
know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't got the hood shit. The nigga with his pants hanging down to his ankles with the house arrest bracelet on. I ain't got him in there. You know what I'm saying? The nigga who rims on his car costs more than his whole Section 8 apartment. Or he's staying with his mind. I ain't got that no more. You know? And so at first it, it hits your ego because like, damn, am I ugly? Am I ugly? Am I ugly? And then you just start, keep going. Keep looking at yourself. Keep going. Keep looking at yourself. And you start changing. So it's a process. It's a process. It's like watching a flower grow. I promise you. How was it when you got out? Like, when you came home from prison, like, you was, it was easy to transition back in? Like, I know you say you did the weave and all that, but far as jobs and all that stuff, how can you, what, what did you do to, to make it easy to get back into the group? Society. Um, I had a parole officer. That's what made it easy. <laughs> I wasn't trying to take my ass back to prison. You know what I'm saying? I knew how much time I was looking at if I went back. That's mm-hmm. one. Uh, two, it be, I have favor. I want a God's favorite. Favorites. That's, that's it. So um, I had a friend that I was locked up with named Jamie. She was working at the subway around the corner from the halfway house I was in because they wouldn't allow me to go to like Philly or Illinois. They made me stay in Pittsburgh. And so um, the, the manager, she had a bunch of crackheads and shit working there. So the, the one of the two of the people OD'd all type of shit. The manager got tired. The owner got tired. It was like, since I used to be up there with Jimmy, do you need a job? Do you want a job? Can you promise me that you'll do this, that, and the third? I said, yeah, shit, I'm always up here. And plus, I used to help Jimmy out. And so she gave me the job. So, and understand this. When I came home, I wasn't broke. You know what I'm saying? Every I was not motherfucking broke. Where you get some money from? And listen, I'm hell when it comes to it. So everybody, man, you ain't had no contact with nobody while I was locked up. <laughs> so when everybody found out I was really home, I'm talking about I had fifteen thousand a month. Sending you money, sending me money, making sure. And I can promise you, I could call motherfuckers right now, put them on the phone, and they'll tell you. Let me send this girl some money because I don't want her on my head. Cause I'm hell. Damn. I'm hell. I need to be more like you. Like, Get on I'm, these niggas. I'm really. I'm really um, you know, I'm rough. It just is what it is. And it's like, I don't forget nothing. I sat behind on walls all them fucking years and nobody said nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even have a visit. It's cool because I didn't want to visit the list because it's just too much. But the whole thing is, when I was out, I was hustling and I was making all that money. I'm talking about, I couldn't even turn around and go to the bathroom. Oh, you, you got to use it. Hold on, baby girl. Like, hey, she got to use it. You know? Love. But when I'm up behind them walls, you really, really see who's right there for right. you. Say that, and say I that. still got those JPEGs. And I've been home five years. I still got the J-Pay, so I know who the fuck did something. You got motherfuckers right now trying to be on my coattail and all this other shit. Let's be real, bitch. You blocked my, you blocked the jail number. You called up there and told them, if I call your number again, goddammit, you gonna, you know, uh, you gonna get me in trouble so I can get sent to the hole. This the same motherfucker I just had a conversation with the other day and the uh, lie that she been telling on me for fucking years came out of fucking mouth to me. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you out you, 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 where the fuck this come from? Like, oh! I mean, it gets deep. That's it hard. gets deep. Then you get people, you know, hitting you up. You know, I got videotape of you um, from when you were stripping. I haven't stripped in 20 years, but now all of a sudden, got that man, you've been talking to me all, all these years. All of a sudden, you got, put that shit out. I know how to suck dick now. Put it out. Mm. The fuck? <laughs> put it out. <laughs> did you? Did anybody that you was locked up with reconnect with you after they came home? Um, I reconnect with everybody. Okay. I mean, everybody don't The real with. ones, yeah. The, I still talk to the people up in there. I still send money. You know what I'm saying? Because I still those was my friends. Some of them lifers. Uh, some of them like some of them lifers. And yeah. then a lot of the lifers getting ready to come home too. How did how's that? Shit, I don't know. They come home. They tell it. Tell them what? No. I don't know. How Here's do you the thing. know? Um, if you committed a crime, if you got life, like say if you committed a crime while you was like 18 or some stuff like that, your brain isn't fully developed. Yeah. So they have a new law that they pass and anybody who got life when they was like 18, 19, some stuff like that, That's anything hard. before 25, they trying to um, get them ready to come back out into society and they releasing them from prison. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. I got, I got, I, I got something else I can ask you too uh, about you. Um, you got all of these people watching you. A lot of people. Um, you there's a lot of different things you can do. What is it? What's the next move? Um, the next move is setting up generational wealth. Um, I made a hundred thousand last year. Okay, you know what I'm saying from February to December. Like I said, I'm that's gone. It's due. It's, yeah. it's June. I'm done that all over again. Yeah, plus yeah, 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 yeah. The whole thing is setting up something for all my children to have something. That's you know, um, my children aren't doing bad. Like my children aren't like me, so I did all the hard shit so they could just live easy. Um, but the next move is the restaurant. Wow. We got a food truck and the restaurant coming, and then Black got some things up his sleeve that we get ready, we to, get do. ready to do. So I and you're stuff. not ready to talk about yet. No, not yet. 
No. No. Okay. Um, I'll tell you that we got the meet and greet. <laughs> we got the meet and greet in August, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be sold out like the last one. This is going to be even bigger. I got the new book that's dropping July 1st. Okay. Um, What's it called? Memoirs of a Bitch. Mm. Memoirs of a Bitch. Wow. I think that's live, man. You know, um, you you different, man. Nobody. I've never interviewed like like nobody like you. Like. I wanted to ask you something because just like how you are and you're very outspoken, outgoing, you say what's in your mind. Have you always been like this ever since you were a kid and you first you started talking? Yeah. My mom always. used to hate me. Oh, she could. <laughs> always been like this. Yeah. Where you get it from? Is your mama like that? Your daddy you like that? What you do something? You think I'm my ass to get out of my face? Well, you where, gonna, did, where did you get this from? Who in your family is just like this? I don't know. Uh, it's your yeah. freak of nature, like I said I about know. Eddie Griffin last time I was in a I, I, I don't know. It's, it's like my dad, you know, I was raised in the household my mom and my dad. Right. My dad was fearless. You know what I'm saying? My mom was timid, quiet. Right, I, I remember the, you my said My dad that. was fearless. You know what I'm saying? My dad was a king. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about him. That man, when he walked, his head was never down. His head was up. And he told me that. You know what I'm saying? I respect my father. What are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do? And he had a mouth like you. My dad, no, my dad was. He gonna say he gonna he gonna he gonna say some shit, but he not gonna elaborate. He not gonna keep it going. He gonna say whatever he say. You better take heed to it. He gonna go up to your fucking head. It just is what it is. Me, I say whatever I feel because I feel free. Mm. What you have you do? ever have you ever thought about doing stand up comic? I'm not a com- I'm not a comedian. I know, that, but I can see the way how you be talking and stuff. Yeah. You can you can do it if you wanted to. Well, um, that's one of the things that's getting ready to happen. We gonna do we're gonna test it out. Um, we're gonna do a little tour. Mm-hmm. And I'm let me tell y'all this. I gotta tell y'all this about this bum ass comedian. So here's the thing. What the hell? No, because we yeah, but I'm, let me give him time to shine. I'm not gonna say his bum ass with his big nose ass pussy. Well, see, here's the thing. People, when I don't say nothing in these comment sections, they come over there to try to cloud up. You know what I'm saying? His, I'm nosy. I'm a bitch. I'm nosy. This motherfucker with his ugly ass come over there. He a comedian. I come over there in my comment section. You know what I'm saying? He, oh, she look like Kevin Gates. I say I rather look like Kevin Gates. Then your ugly ass nigga, you like a roach. You know? I go over to his page. You know? And and this nigga had a, a, a show, a comedy show. He had 15 people in the crowd. 15 people in the crowd. So I go back. What happened to your show? <laughs> Dude, I would come to your she, city and have all my people flood that bitch and make you the topic. Knock it the fuck off. And because I don't say nothing back to these pussies in the comment section, they think it's open game. No, you don't want me to start talking about you because I'm going to do my research first. Wow, wow. I'm going to tell you, I, I think anything you put your hands on, anything mm. you do is going to be successful. I, I, re- I really, I, I love what you do. I mean, I really... You you come off like you gonna punch a nigga at first, but nigga used to that he dodge, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I I enjoy you know, I enjoy uh seeing the movement. I can't wait to see what's next with you, man, and I'm gonna be watching and you gonna come on here every quarter. Yeah, I know you I will be here. Yeah, I told her the same thing I do with Bubba Dub. I'm bringing y'all every quarter. Y'all Let me got tell you about Bubba Dub. Don't you talk about my partner? Nah, fuck all that. <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have mentioned his name. <laughs> That's Black like, Bay. Fuck that. That's my yeah. partner. I'm on his ass, too. What here do we do? go. Bubba Dub had a show out here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So this is when, uh, damn, he had a show out here. And I don't know who was running his tickets or whatever, but the shit was like $100 a ticket or whatever. Boom, we going to support because, you know, Black love him some Bubba Dub. Hey, that's my guy. I don't give a fuck. What happened? We can't take so it no more. So when we get up in the when we get up in the in the venue or whatever, you know, um, I'm flashing, and it's like, like I don't think you know I, I am who I am, but it just is what it is. We go up in the place, the seat, the place he had, the place, the place he had. It's like a stage all the way up there. Then it's a bar and it's a room and all this other shit. But the seat they gave us was at the door. What the uh, hell? Listen, at the door. So we couldn't even see the stage. They ain't had no monitors uh, to show the stage. None of this shit. Okay, boom. You know what I'm saying? So this was our seat all the way back here. Like, literally, you couldn't see nothing. So I'm, I tell him, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, right? So I emailed Bubba Doug. I email him. I say, yo, 
I say, look, I'm, I'm just being real. Uh, we pay $100 per person for these ticks. I can show you the email for thick line. You know, and um, the seats was bogus as hell. We couldn't even see you. I had to leave, you know, da 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 So he get right back to me. On some real shit, he get right back to me. He say, man, I don't even run that type of show. Um, damn, I'm sorry because I, I wasn't controlling that. Somebody else was doing it. I guess his brother, his guy, somebody was, you know, selling those type of tickets. Okay, cool. He said, I can give your money back. I said, I don't, I don't want the money back. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect the hustle. I said, but what I do want you to do is check out, check out my YouTube page. That okay. motherfucker stopped responding. Listen, now, hang but, on, now, now, wait a damn minute. Hang on, motherfucker. Wait a damn listen. minute. When I, listen, listen, I'm going to call my boy. You and call he, and, he go, and, and the problem with this is, see, because I can handle this right here. The yeah. problem I have with hey. this is you hey. probably went after you done been on hey. my show. You know Bubba Dub is my partner. Y'all shouldn't have took y'all ass down there without First calling me. I hadn't uh -uh. Been on here. Oh, that would be oh, that was a long you. time ago. Well, you gotta let that go. Now that's a go. whole different world. Now we understand. we got we no, can no, no, fix no, no, that. No, fuck that. When I first got on, I had just started my channel when I first came on here. Knock it off. Yeah. I don't only had my channel a year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't only have my channel a year. So my, I hadn't even, I think I had like 50,000 subs. I think I had 50,000 subs. You know, I just said, I don't want the money back, but I do want you to check out my content. You know what I'm saying? How you know you check it out? That my, I didn't tell him a link. <laughs> he didn't tell motherfucking thing back. We was corresponding at first. That's Dude, you over with. You me. family, you can't listen. We brothers yeah, and that's sisters that's now. Your ass going to be at the next show setting in. You trash. will be. <laughs> I'm putting, I'm putting your ass Trash. on the front row. You better not come back to Dallas. Me and you going to be at that hole together. Trash. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, check it out. I'm finna man, say Man, he bro. I got to get thing. it all together, man. That'll be the funniest thing. I'm putting my ass on the front. You ain't got to worry about that. Oh, I'm putting her on the front. She going to cut out. I promise you, next time he comes to watch what happened, you going to be right there with me. I'm going to say, say what? Keep that same energy. You kept on boss talk. I'm praying you. Do you know how you be? He ain't you. <laughs> do, you, do you think I'm, I'm taking you out on now? Listen, I'll go because I, I, yeah, I know you Bubba gotta Dub. go. I know I you like do. Bubba Dub. We rocking like, out. He, he good, but I just want to put that out. There. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I what, can't what, wait. What's gonna happen is no. I can't you, wait. You know I got a list. I can't wait. You got a list. I got a what? Listen, you got a I wanna, list. I want to say this. I want to say this. Listen, this the fit, the field that we're in, the field that I'm in. This is a male dominated field. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of men hate on me. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, and I know so many of these dudes, I know them, I work, motherfuckers refuse to work with me. You know what I'm saying? I remember, and I'm gonna say this Chicago Media Takeout. I hit them up. I hit them up. Um, this is right before I went, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is why, this is right before I went viral on every motherfucking, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna tell you, what's for you is for you. I hit them up and I asked them, I say, yo, how much, listen, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay. How much it is to pay to put one of my videos up um, on your page? These motherfuckers take 24 hours to get back to me. Okay, cool, that's how you run your business. You know what I'm saying? But I get a response every 24 motherfucking hours. Nigga, how, how long are we supposed to do this? You know what I'm saying? I got the money, I'm just waiting on your, your information. And then when I'm asking you to process, you still ain't said nothing. I ain't raised all the messages. Fuck you. I'm finna tell you how God works. You know what I'm saying? I went viral the next fucking day on every platform. TikTok, mm. YouTube, wow. uh, fucking Instagram. And I've been gone ever since. So you don't need I've been it. doing 5.1 million views for three months straight. Oh, you beast. For three months straight. I already know not to play with you. I see like, what's right, going so on. They're the number one on your list then. No, they ain't number one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who number, number one? one? Who number one on your list? I'm gonna tell Girl, you. Girl, you better leave that woman alone. No, 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 you know, I'm not mentioning no. nobody's name Listen. with this woman on the goddamn show. <laughs> no, no, the I, I want to talk about uh uh what's her name going on Vlad. Uh, I wouldn't go on Vlad, but I Tyrese. left it alone. I've been asking everybody, but I wouldn't ask you. Who? I'm Tyrese. not asking you nothing. I'm Why gonna get you off of this show. Cause he, he, they tried to pay him ten thousand, and he said he wasn't gonna go. But because the, do you know how much money Vlad made? It's See, five, I five, point seven million. million. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It said five million. He, he got five he, million. But per show, though. No. No, 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 no. Listen. Look, count your views. You got to see what his RPM is. You know what I'm saying? He makes so much motherfucking money off, off of you. Damn. Off of you. And you don't get a fucking thing. You get on there and tell on yourself. 
Yeah. And all your friends. And he get to make content. <laughs> and get paid off of it. And you just get to say, well, I said in Vlad, I said it. You don't, you, my, you don't even, I mean, this is some real shit. Sometimes Vlad ain't even the one interviewing. No, a lot mm -hmm. of times. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even sitting in front of Vlad. So, man, fuck all that. Everybody talking about Adam is the culture vulture. No, it's Vlad. Damn. It's Vlad. And like, I'm finna be some real, on this some real life shit. When, when everything was first going, going, um, going with me, when my platform, when CC Reacts first started doing, it was you and no jumper. Who rushed out to me, showed me love. You got other motherfuckers want to charge me and then say, well, whatever video I put out of hers, um, they want half of, half of the money I make from my channel. It's a lot. It's a lot. It be a lot behind this shit. That's why I'm so happy none of these motherfuckers rushed for me. I'm so happy that I had a, 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 a man who who did his one-two and just kept pushing me, kept pushing me, kept pushing me. When shit wasn't going right with this shit and I was ready to give it up, he would not take his foot off my neck. Come on, we got to keep moving. We got to keep fuck that. Make it keep going, keep going, keep going. And look at this. Look at this. It's out up. the mud. It's up. Out the mud. It's and at up. this point, I can fund my own motherfucking project. Already, mm. man. Hey, we love you. Yeah, we love you, CZ. We yeah, ain't playing no games about you either. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we know you. this Southern hospitality is a little bit different. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, out here, out here, I've, listen, Texas has shown me nothing. When I say, Texas has bought nothing out the best of love. me. Texas has bought out the best of me. Like, I, for a long, like, I don't live somewhere everywhere. Cali, uh, Vegas, Miami, but of course, Chicago, Philly. Listen, I was looking for a place that I could, I can, you know, lay some roots down. It's most definitely Texas. Dang. Awesome. Man, thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you or watch your show? Um, CC Reacts on YouTube, CC Reacts on TikTok. I am Cecilia Robinson too on Instagram. I don't fuck with Twitter, Facebook. They Facebook hate so far. Mark, you <laughs> and that scrunchy face ass bitch. You got. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody ever did nothing to you. Stop fucking hating on me. <laughs> you, you know too what I'm raw. You too raw for Facebook. Man, fuck, fuck, dude. This fucking face like a thumb. He's sitting up there every time I look up. Yeah, your your video has been. Who the fuck reporting me, Mark? You know what I'm saying? Why everybody got to be in jail around here? Bitch, you want to be a CEO so bad or a fucking sheriff, you should have been a police officer. But he let you make it on Instagram, yeah, man. Yeah, let me make a motherfucking thing. I was making them money. Oh, okay. Let's be real. <laughs> you making a lot of people money. Let's be real. You know? Take it, man. That's CC Reacts. Cecilia Robinson been on Boss Talk 101 one more again, man. This has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out.